Hey, y'all, it's Aunt Charlene. And Cheryl Bustamante. Hi. Who the hell is that? You remember my sister, Fremini. What the hell is she doing here? She's staying with us until her divorce is through. My husband was cheating on me. He said it was because I couldn't get knocked up with child. I have never been so hurt in all of my life. Girl, you should have seen Mexico. How was it? It was fine. Mexico? But ain't Charlene said you went to Oklahoma so the sheriff wouldn't know it was you that gave his daughter all those illegal Xanaxes. I never said Xanax. And I have never gave away Xanax. It wasn't her fault that that stupid dizzy bitch stole a bulldozer and then plowed through the boys and girls club. Well, it says right on the bottle not to use heavy machinery. She was my only friend. Well, thank Christ you came back. I had nobody to talk to in this dump. Earl, don't you have something nice to say to Miss Bustamante? Hey, Cheryl. That's Miss Bustamante. Kiss my Earl, Miss Bustamante. Earl, I think it would be nice if you offered our guest a beer. My damn woman, we've only got a six pack. I think it would be nice if you offered our guest a beer. Can I get you a beer? Are you asking me? Or our house guest, Cheryl. Miss Bustamante. Miss Bustamante, can I get you a beer? Sure, Earl. He's just glad to see you, aren't you, Earl? Well, in that case, would you mind running down to the store and get me a pack of cigarettes? We ain't paid bills yet. And besides, we got plenty of cigarettes here. Earl, maybe our guest doesn't want to puff on those cheap-ass ground-up stumps and fish heads you call cigarettes. I'll be back. Red Paw Malls. Grab a carton. Grab two. Girl, what you got him on, Prozac? No, thin ice. Son of a bitch gave me a shower curtain for my birthday last month. Well, happy late birthday. Oh, thank you. I'm glad somebody gave me something good. I gave you a ring. So where are you staying? Well, I'm staying down there at the no-tail motel, you know, since my trailer got repoed and all. Well, you can stay here. I don't know, girl. Last time I slept on your couch, I got scabies. Uh, well, you can have Fremini's bed. Hi. Well, as long as she washes them sheets first, there is pubic hairs everywhere. It's no damn wonder she couldn't get pregnant. John Holmes couldn't get through that sleeping bag. Ugh. Hi. Good news, Earl. Cheryl is coming to stay with us. Like hell she is. Would you mind being a sweetheart and moving that TV into my room? I said no, damn it. Hey, is that my stash? Earl, sorry, Miss Bustamante, but you ain't staying here. Now, I'm gonna go take a nap, and you better be gone when I get up for my dinner. Hey, Sheriff, it's Aunt Charlene. My husband just hit me. Also, I just planted or uh, found some illegal Xanax when I was going through his dresser drawer this morning. Bye, Earl. And I didn't say 100s. Y'all are going to hell for this. You know that, don't you? Just wait till I call the sheriff myself and tell him what's really going on. Thanks for not changing the sheets first. You won't rent a movie tonight. Sure, we got a TV here. I still have one good eye, I suppose. Well, why don't you take Free Money's bed? My feet hang over the edge. <laughs>